Last summer, I decided to pack my bags and head north to Canada's Arctic for a 10-month working holiday in the territory of Nunavut. As the traditional homeland of Canada's Inuit peoples, Nunavut was incorporated in 1999 and is Canada's newest territory. So sit back and join me as I take you around some of the highlights of Canada's Central Arctic. checking out the Jesse Unark Center to see when it opens today. I was told 1 to 5 p.m. but it looks closed. This is the art studio. I hope they open at some point today at least. So it, unfortunately it is locked. I'm not sure why the hours changed but you can take a look inside. There's a gift shop. Quite a few furs. I can see some prints on the wall. Sketches. Love to check this place out, but yeah, I'm not sure why they decided to close today. But um, such is life in the north sometimes. It's all based on staffing. Very famous in Nunavut. Uh, Jesse Unark was a very famous Inuit artist, and her works are can be thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, very unique, but it is closed. Unfortunately, they said it was going to be open one to... 5 p.m. on Saturdays, but no such luck. But you can see here artist studio, sewing machines and so forth, um, materials, pretty cool. But unfortunately I can't actually get inside to tour around, so just gotta peek through the windows and check out the studio. Looks like they're well equipped and kind of the center of Inuit art here in Baker Lake. So it looks like it's been a while since people were staffing this place because their plants are completely dead. I'm not sure if they've been open recently. Maybe it's because of the outbreak of COVID in recent months. That's my guess. But uh, yeah, you can barely see inside, but some prints on the wall. And I guess this is the, where you can see the most Inuit art, at least through the glass. This is a little sketch of an Inuk. So you can see some pretty impressive carving this right through the window here. That's pretty much all I can actually see in here. There's some prints down there on the walls of the studio, but yeah, some impressive carvings there. You can see through the window. Some of them are 400 bucks, so they're not cheap, but they are pretty impressive pieces of artwork. So you can see this little drum dancer right here. Sorry for the glare. Another Inuk sculpture right there. These ones are a bit more mystical. You can see the Inuk shook there in the foreground. A couple of Inuks over here, and what looks to be a, maybe a walrus, I'm not sure what that is, a kamatik there, and pretty impressive polar bear, muskox, yeah, too bad I can't get inside the gallery, but at least you get a sense of some of the local arts and crafts here in Baker Lake. All right, well, I tried my best to share that with you, it is closed. All right, I'm gonna head over there to the co-op. Haven't been in there yet. It's five o'clock at this point, so things are gonna be winding down here in Baker Lake soon. Yeah, you can notice the ATVs are one of the primary modes of transportation here around Baker Lake. A lot of people have ATVs, or as they call them, Hondas here. I'm gonna head into the co-op though and check out this store. I've heard it's much more impressive than the one in Arviat. So we got a table of free kids books here. That's a pretty cool idea. Kids book in the local Linux to dialect. I guess I don't have any pressing desire to buy anything because I don't have a kitchen. Just that little microwave basically, but I'm not really keen on eating a microwave dinner, so I might just skip that for tonight. A pretty impressive co-op though compared to Arviat. Definitely bigger and uh, 
yeah, a lot of selection. It's actually much more impressive. So it's good to see them supporting their local cooperative. I got coaches and shoes, clothes, a lot of material too. There's a thriving sewing culture here in Nunavut. So you see this everywhere. Fabric pretty much in every store. There's a high demand for it for sure. And up there you can see some furs as well. Different colors of fox fur. Pretty impressive. Multicolored fox furs. Anyway, this is your typical co-op. Uh, co-ops again are, I guess, membership based. You get a portion of the proceeds at the end of the year for supporting the business, depending on how much you shop here. So they pay back their profits to their customers. There's a branch of the First Nations National Bank uh, right down there. So they do have a local bank in town as well. But uh, yeah, not really gonna shop for anything here really. Uh, just touring around, but pretty standard for co-op here in Nunavut. And again, it might seem kind of silly to go kind of sightsee in a store uh, while you're in Nunavut, but this is one of the few things to do in these communities. It's kind of cool to check out the different vibes in each of these stores. Uh, they are kind of like the lifeblood of the community. All right. Well, it looks like they got Soda Stream. $5 more than Southern Canada. It's about $9.99 or $10.99, depending on the store back in Calgary. So $15.99 here. Yeah, it's expensive, but not necessarily as expensive as other places I visited in Nunavut for sure. Chips are expensive though, and $7. But again, not as high as like Taloyuak and other places I visited. But $7.79, I guess, for a bag of chips. That's that's up there. Hi. Can I get Screamer? Uh, small is good. I only have two, that's pretty good. That's okay. That'll be good. No. Well, no, thank you. All right, I got myself a screamer which if you're not aware is half slush half ice cream so this was about five dollars nice to cool off at least and i am strolling around main street here in baker lake leaving the co-op behind and i'm gonna head over here now to the northern store once again i got to pick up a couple things for the evening and then i'm gonna be heading back to the hotel getting my drone equipment getting the drone in the air for some aerials over Baker Lake and I want to do a full long walk around town. The only problem is this camera's almost dead. I gotta head back to the hotel to charge it up. I'm gonna go take a break for a bit, have a couple hours in the hotel and then head back out. All right this is the Baker Lake Northern a local grocery store, one of them at least. Oh sorry, thank you. All right, so they got a KFC and a Pizza Hut and a Tim Hortons all in one little spot here. Much more extensive menu than Arbiot. So this might not seem super notable, but dinner is served. Personal ham and pineapple pizza, $10.99. And a Tim Hortons cinnamon bun, $3.49, I believe. So everything here was about 14 bucks and change. So you can actually eat Pizza Hut in your bed in the Arctic for $10.99, and this is pretty passable. This is Pizza Hut, so pretty impressed. All right, fast forward about two to three hours, and I'm leaving the hotel once again. My room is right over there. I think it's the one in the green there on the bottom, a second from the end. And I'm heading down towards the shoreline of Baker Lake. Definitely a warm day though. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful outside. It's still pretty warm, even at this later hour. It's about 8.30 p.m. now, but really agreeable temperatures here. Can't believe it, it's like 22 degrees outside. Pretty unique, colorful buildings down towards the, I guess that would be the eastern side of the lake. So all in all, I had a great visit here to Baker Lake. I definitely am impressed with this community. It's pretty livable. I mean, if I ever come back up to Nunavut for a work stint, this would be very tempting.
can see the Baker Lake is opening up now. It's pretty warm. Even since yesterday, it seems like the lake is opening up even more. And I tell you, those brave people with their skidoos, like I said yesterday, there is like probably $70,000, $80,000 worth of machinery right there in front of me on ice that is enduring 22 degree heat. So you got to know your own risk level, I suppose. And right here is someone's Kamatech just abandoned on the beach. So this is a traditional Inuit sled that's traditionally pulled behind dogs, of course, but uh, today they use skidoos. I am heading down there towards the community dock and hopefully maybe even get down to the campground that I was at earlier today. We'll see how this goes, but uh, I'd like to get the drone in the air before it gets too dark out and get some good footage uh, with the town illuminated with the setting sun, if it really sets this time of year. That's debatable. Heading down this way, walking along the shore. Good night for a stroll out here. So this is definitely a charming little community and I tell you, I'm actually floored with how agreeable it is. I knew a guy who actually taught here as a teacher back, I don't know, 10 years ago. He was telling me how much of a dive it was and it's crap, it's a horrible place to be. And honestly, there's no evidence of that. This is one of the most beautiful places in Nunavut, hands down. And as usual, and a random bones scattered pretty much everywhere. Not an uncommon sight here in Nunavut. Definitely a dusty place, especially this time of year. Pebbly beach. And it makes walking a little bit tough here, but uh, pristine water. Like, look at that ice just floating its way across. And I could go for a polar bear swim. I actually was tempted to pack a swimsuit, but I thought, what's the likelihood of this actually being open water already? But I'm kind of regretting it now. I could have taken a dip out here in the back and polar bear plunged it. It's probably like zero degree water though. So probably not for the faint of heart, but I'd do it. I did it in Barrow, Alaska back in 2011. Loved it. I was cherry red though from head to toe. So definitely not for the faint of heart, but it was well worth the experience. And honestly, this lake is just spectacular. I do wish that I could just pop right in right now and take a dive. Probably don't really want to get my clothes that cold and wet though. So, sounds good on paper though. So it's definitely one of the most beautiful places I've been to in Nunavut. And perfect time of year to come. I'm telling you, sunny weather, uh, 20 degrees, 22 degree weather. It's unheard of for the Arctic. There's a pretty stinky caribou head right here just kind of rotting on the side of the beach, but beautiful set of antlers on this creature. That is a took to right there. So it looks like they've just let nature take its course on the head itself. Pretty disgusting, but uh, interesting. Beautiful sunlight here as the sun begins to attempt to set. It'll set a little bit tonight because we are beneath the Arctic Circle, but not by much. It was Pretty light out, even at two o'clock in the morning yesterday. I made it down here to the community dock, which is the perfect place to launch my drone. So I'm gonna set up shop right here and hopefully I'll get some good shots of Baker Lake. Can't really see much of it, but that'll change as soon as that drone is in the air. Sun is setting and it's beautiful as the golden sunlight hits all these buildings. Beautiful place. One of none of its most spectacular communities. And you can see out in the very distance there, what is almost a full moon in the sky above Baker Lake. So apart from a few pieces of garbage from the spring thaw, this is an idyllic view. You can see this way, just how beautiful this breakup is. A spring thaw of Baker Lake. Ice chunks pretty much everywhere, but a decent amount of water along the lakeshore freed up. And the airport is down that way, just across that end of the lake. I'm gonna head there tomorrow morning at about nine o'clock. So I am winding down my time now, about 12 more hours, not even that. In any case, I'm gonna go peek around some of the parts of Baker Lake I haven't seen yet. It is getting a bit late though, so I'm gonna hurry it up a bit. I'm gonna walk along the shore here towards the old churches. There's some historic churches down this way. Now I'll make my loop back through town, 
kind of around that way and make my way way back to my hotel about a kilometer away from here. So there is the visitor center once again, old Hudson Bay trading post. And I'm just walking along the beach here. It's uh, not the most even footing, but beautiful setting though. Birds everywhere and angry dogs. So pretty unique buildings here in Baker Lake. It's like a Quonset lifted off the ground due to the permafrost. And it's someone's house. That's very cool. A little ladder to the roof too. Very unique house. So my guide told me earlier that down here is the old Sunday school of the Anglican church, I believe. Really historic church. Right there on the right, you can see the steeple. And tons of abandoned buildings here too. You can see these old structures uh, fallen by the wayside now crumbling but very historic definitely a charming little village it looks like this one's been pretty much gutted a bit you can see it, this one's pretty much in disrepair some broken glass it's actually in decent condition though like inside i don't know how long this has been abandoned but yeah Kind of a shame to lose a house of this size that should be used. Housing's at a shortage here in Nunavut, so. Huh, too bad. Oh, there's some dogs there. I'm not sure, I don't think anybody's using these houses. They just have dogs, I guess, guarding the area. They're on leashes, but I don't want to get too close for sure. And it looks like fuel tank. Wow. Pretty well abandoned. I don't want to trespass, but yeah. Shame to see a structure like that just sitting there empty. But anyway, gonna head to the church. And another abandoned building here. Man, it's like the glass looks like it was recently broken. Like this can't be that old. So I'm not sure what the history of this is or what happened here, but yeah, totally destroyed. And there's glass pretty much everywhere on the ground. So, but yet there's like old equipment here in the front of it. What a shame, actually a nice building. And the old Sunday school, I guess, right here. I'm gonna go check it from the other side where it's a bit more illuminated. And again, these windows are just destroyed. Like, it's too bad they don't just restore this. It's like beautiful buildings, but man, they are crumbling at this point. And over there is the Baker Lake Lodge, which is another hotel, I guess. But according to Google, it hasn't been in business in about three or four years. So I'm not sure what the story is with that hotel. They don't list anything online, so I don't think it's in operation anymore. It does say Baker Lake Northwest Territories on the side of it as well. So interesting. Incredible history. There's boats out in front, so I don't know. Maybe somebody owns this place. I don't want to get too close to the shore, though. There are so many dogs. There's a mean one right behind the church here, so I can't get too close, but... Yeah, pretty interesting though. What a historic church, just sitting here doing its own thing. Abandoned to history right here. Wow, I hope that in 20 years, if I ever come back here, I hope this is actually taken care of and they restore it into a functional building again. It's a shame to lose history like this. So this is definitely where someone is storing their stuff. So there's a skidoo here tied up and plenty of Kamatix. So this is definitely somebody who does a lot of land trips. There's tons of Kamatix here uh, to pull behind your skidoo. And um, I'm not sure who owns this property or who uses it, but they're definitely using it as a storage facility of sorts. Beautiful picture there with the church and the full moon right above it. I'm over here now at the Baker Lake Lodge, which is shut down evidently. I'm not sure what they use it for these days, but it's no longer a functional hotel here in Baker Lake. It even says Baker Lake Lodge NWT, so hasn't been updated in a long time, I guess 23 years. 
It is a beautiful building though. I looked at pictures online of the interior and I tell you, it's a shame that they don't rent this place out anymore. Beautiful floor to ceiling windows and it looks really cozy inside. Looks like they have a barbecue and patio satellite dish. So definitely has been used recently. Last Google review is about three to four years ago though. So I don't think it's been used as a hotel in quite some time. Unfortunate, because that is prime real estate, honestly be tempting to invest in that and just rent it out. Undercut all the other competitors here, start renting it out for 199 a night, and I tell you, you make a lot of money up here if you did that. So not a bad place, absolutely beautiful Saturday evening. I'm glad I actually came out here and did this. Nice little detour from kind of my life on the south end of the Kivalik, seeing the central region here and just this community I've heard so much about over the past, you know, decade, I guess, of working on and off in Nunavut. Very impressed with Baker Lake. I'd love to come back if it weren't so expensive, but you know, given that travel up here is very expensive, this will likely be my only visit up here. But I definitely enjoyed my time here in Baker Lake and I would highly recommend anybody check it out if you're even remotely in the area. Very cool place. And right over there is the Anglican Church, which I believe is still in operation. So again, that's the old Sunday school down there. That's been forlorn and abandoned. But here is the modern Anglican church, which are staples basically all across Nunavut, largely due to the missionaries that came up here and started churches in this area, Anglican missionaries, uh, Pentecostal missionaries, and Catholic missionaries. They're the three main denominations up here in Nunavut. There's not really much deviation from that. There are a couple of Alliance churches. I believe there's a Baptist church. Uh, but other than that, I mean, in terms of Christian denominations, just those big three, Anglican, Pentecostal, Catholic. So it is a pretty historic structure, not as beaten down as the other one, of course, but it looks like it is quite historic. St. Aidan's Baker Lake Anglican Church, established 1927, outpost of Churchill since 1884. Interesting. So the Anglican Church was based out of Churchill, Manitoba. So it's definitely been around a long time. And usually these Anglican churches are the most visited or most attended, I should say, uh, in the territory, in the communities of the territory. They're quite popular with locals. So this is a typical residential street here in Baker Lake. Pretty well similar to most residential areas in Nunavut. You'll notice that all the roads here are dirt. It does get a bit dusty. It is... Oh, 11, 10 p.m. It's an astonishing amount of light for this hour, of course, given that it is June the 11th today. 10 days until the summer solstice. Not too much traffic out. I guess it is pretty late. Pushing 11.30 at this point, but seems like most people have gone to bed already. Almost nobody on the streets walking, at least. Some people in their trucks or ATVs, but generally a pretty quiet evening here in Baker Lake. Soothing too, just all the sounds of the water rushing with the spring melt. It's hard to not love the territory. It's just so remote and untouched and I guess Canada at its finest in some ways, just so untouched. The nature is just so beautiful and uh, the culture is just, it's so foreign to the rest of Canada that uh, it's just an experience in and of itself. So if you ever do have a chance to, you know, cash in some Aeroplan points or airline miles to come up to Nunavut, you will not be disappointed. So definitely put this on your bucket list. And there's definitely some hilly terrain here. So there's a little bit of a uphill climbs every now and then, which is very unusual for what I'm used to living in Nunavut's flattest community. And there is the cell tower right there, which they actually built right next to the RCMP station, likely to keep it safe. So it's actually on the police station grounds. All right, this is the local high school in Baker Lake, Jonah Amitmuk or something like that. Huge, massive building. And it is two stories, so they must have a massive student population here. And it looks like their sports team is the Baker Lake Blizzard. And a little welcome sign. Welcome to Baker Lake, the mining capital of the Kiwatan. So that's back in the day when this used to be called the Kiwatan region instead of the Kivalik. So this is called Rachel Ang Namatic Elementary School. A little bit smaller than the high school, 
but yeah, very similar to the elementary school in Kugluktuk. Same architect, same style, same color scheme by the looks of it. So this is the municipality of Baker Lake government office. Interesting color scheme. You got the blue and the yellow. Guess you can't miss it from far. And this is where all the local government offices are. Looks like they have some sort of uh, power symbol with a clenched fist inside of a sun. Interesting. So the sun has officially set at this point at about 11.30 p.m. I'm gonna go head across the street to the little store, NPS. I'm not sure what they have, but I'm about to find out. This is one of the few stores that is actually open at this hour. I'm gonna go ahead and check out what they have inside. A little convenience store, it looks like. I have legitimately never seen this pop before. Dr. Pepper and cream soda. Never seen this in my life, so it must be brand new. But find it here in Baker Lake for the first time, that's pretty interesting odds. And just like that, I am reaching the edge of Baker Lake. Just, I guess, a stone's throw from my hotel down the hill. It's almost midnight. You can see it's quite light for Midnight for what you might be used to, but this is summer in Nunavut and I tell you it is blissful. It is so nice to come up to Nunavut in the summertime when it's at its best. Beautiful purples and blues, oranges of sunset. Incredible. Perfect way to end my time here in Baker Lake. I doubt that I'm going to have time for a stroll tomorrow morning, but I definitely saw everything I wanted to see and I am impressed with this community. So you can see the hotel has a great view here at the restaurant overlooking the lake. I didn't have any meals here unfortunately because I just didn't have the time but uh, beautiful restaurant here at the Nunamiat Lodge. I am heading back to the airport now and onward to Rankin Inlet. <laughs>